Whether for a short length of time or for longer periods, respite care is about giving everyone space without interfering with attachment. It's about allowing adults and children space without breaking those growing and often fragile bonds between them. Respite in and respite out care. Respite in care means the child or children stay in the home with caregivers coming in for short or longer periods of time. Traditional respite out care is when the child or children are cared for outside the home. The difference between foster respite care and adoption respite care. Foster respite care and adoptive respite care look a little different. Most states are fine with foster parents finding care for a few hours. Think date night or grocery shopping. But states may require the care provider be licensed as a foster parent for overnight or longer respite stays. States may also require training along with licensing for foster care respite. Respite care for adoptive families doesn't require licensing and specific training, but caregivers should be aware of any special physical, behavioral, or emotional needs the child might have. Bethany Christian Services asks foster respite providers to be trained and also recognize that the behavior the family is dealing with may not surface during their time with the child. It's vital that respite providers offer no judgments on the family or their desire for respite care. Respite in or respite out? At Bethany, we almost always recommend respite in before respite out. Children usually feel more secure and calm in their own home, surrounded by familiar toys, games, and stuffed animals. They like to sleep in their own beds. Respite in can be short-term, such as an evening or an afternoon of in-home care, or it can be longer-term, caregivers coming to the home for a weekend or longer. Parents can stay in the home without responsibility for childcare or leave for the allotted time. The former allows parents to keep the child close, but still offers space for the parents to rest, relax, regroup, and regain perspective. Respite in is also preferred from a child development perspective. Respite in doesn't send the message that the child is being sent away or rejected. It can strengthen attachment by keeping the child close. While there are certainly important reasons for respite out care, we encourage parents to consider respite in care as a first step. How you can help. Consider some of the ways you might offer respite in or respite out care for families and vulnerable children. Take a meal to a foster or adoptive family. Offer to pick up children from school and take them to your home for help with homework and dinner once or twice a month. Come into the home for an afternoon to allow mom and or dad to get out for a while or just take a nap. Offer to clean the kitchen and bathrooms and do laundry for a busy parent. Invite a child or children on an outing to a park, library, museum, or sporting event, or to do other fun things, such as sledding, ice skating, seeing a movie, or swimming. Offer to drive foster children to visit their parents. Go to the doctor, go to the dentist, or get their hair cut. Stay at a foster family's home for a weekend. Check licensing requirements first, so the parents can take a short vacation. Do some shopping for an adoptive or foster family that they don't have time to do. Offer to stay with children with special needs during a church service so parents can worship without worry or interruption. Stay with younger children while mom or dad picks up older children from school. Read and play games with children for an hour while mom or dad makes dinner. Churches can also come alongside families caring for vulnerable children to offer respite care. Be sure to tap into young people eager to serve. Offer free child care during Bible studies, small group meetings, and other church-related events. Connect and partner with a local agency that provides a full continuum of services to children and families. Provide one-on-one -on -one helpers during youth group, worship services, Sunday school, or summer events to allow parents to leave their children without worry. Provide meals for new foster or adoptive parents several nights a week for a month, or make and drop off freezer meals to last a month, provided the family has the freezer space. Organize weekly babysitting, lawn care, house cleaning, and or laundry services for families. Raise funds.